Hello, it's Evelina here. I prepared for you this short pregnancy yoga class, which you can add into your everyday routine. It will help you to connect to your breath, to correct maybe any wrong breathing, pa breathing pattern which you might hold. It will help you to, through relaxing the breath, relax also your body. We will work a little bit on strengthening our legs, strengthening the pelvic floor muscles, so all the different things which you will need for the delivery of the baby. Also, we will work on relaxing the area of the lower back, on opening the hips, relaxing the hips, releasing any tensions which might accumulate. So this session is safe to practice in any state of your pregnancy, even in the last third trimester. Just I'm, invite, I'm inviting you to really stay connected to your emotions, to the way how you feel. If you will feel that anything becomes too much, is too intense, then definitely please take a step back. Maybe just take a moment to rest, to relax for a minute, or maybe modify somehow the posture that it will be more relaxing. So you need to feel comfortable, safe, and calm in every single posture which we will be doing. So please keep listening to your body and let's begin. So I have some props here which we will use to make ourselves more comfortable. I have three pillows, you can have even four pillows, five pillows, as many pillows as you need. I have also a strap and a chair. So all these items will help us throughout the practice. Let's begin with one pillow, which we'll place right underneath the hips. You want the pillow to be underneath the glutes, so it can elevate your glutes, help you to rotate your hips gently back. So you don't want to be curving your spine, that's the reason. That's why we have pillow underneath the glutes. Long straight spine, shoulders relax. And let's begin with a couple of full yogic breaths. So for that, Sitting in your upright position, place one palm on the belly and the other on your chest. And now close your eyes. Take a long but gentle and effortless breath in through the nose. Once your lungs are full of the air, slowly exhale also through the nose, all the way out. And now inhale, feel expansion of your belly ribs and chest, fill up your lungs completely and then exhale out of your chest, chest is coming back in, ribs and belly. Again feeling expansion on the inhalation and gentle effortless contraction on the exhalation. Don't force your breath but just gently fill up your lungs as you inhale and gently empty them as you exhale. Two more times, inhale, expanding your belly, ribs, chest, and exhale, chest comes back in, ribs, belly. Last effortless breath, deeply in to the belly, and completely out, belly is softly coming back in. And now gently release your hands and just take another long deep breath in. And this time exhale through your mouth, a complete side out. Again inhale and a side out. And last final time, inhale and a side out and slowly open your eyes. Let's begin with a gentle warm up of the neck. So just one large circle and a large circle to the other side. Then keep your head down for a moment, chin to the chest, long straight spine. Inhale, head up. Exhale, head to the left side, both shoulders down. Inhale, come.
come back and exhale towards the other side inhale come back now just placing your hands on the upper back on the top of the trapezius muscle just where the back and neck are meeting and giving yourself a little bit of massage just gently pulling the muscles pulling pulling and then just moving through your neck sliding towards the outside a few times and relax now let's do a little bit of shoulder rotation so as you inhale raise your hands up and exhale down one more time and change inhale hands up exhale down and last time and down beautiful now let's take our strap open the strap open the hands on the strap and here it should be comfortable for you but also you should feel a little bit opening in the chest in the shoulders so we will bring the strap back but you want to keep your elbows straight so if this is too easy it may mean that your hands are too far away or if it's too difficult it will mean that the elbows are bending and that you have to actually find the perfect spot so you should feel a little opening but the elbows should remain straight throughout and just move your hands up and down a couple of times deeply breathing in and out last two times inhale exhale and last time exhale great that's it we can leave the strap on the side and now let's move to cat and cow position so we don't need the pillows for it we will place the palms right underneath the shoulders and knees right underneath the hips as you're inhaling raise your head and tailbone up and exhale tailbone and head down keep going inhaling up exhaling down inhale open up the chest exhale curve the back last time inhale open the chest and exhale curve the back inhale back to neutral position let's move into downward facing dog so we'll tuck the toes in from that position and then just leave the hips keeping your knees bent Hang your belly kind of between the legs, keeping your knees bent and just stretch the back. So it's like you want to form a triangle out of your whole body, and sure you're not curling the back, but just keeping your knees gently bent. And then from here, let's walk slowly, slowly, step by step to the front. And here you can just bend the knees, and then slowly begin making your way up, supporting yourself with the hands on the legs. Let's move to the modified sun salutation, Surya Namaskar. Take a moment just to stand with your legs wide open, but parallel to each other. And close your eyes, take a couple of breaths in and out. Bring awareness to the tailbone, to the foundation of your spine, and ensure it's pointing down. So it's not sticking back, it's not sticking front. Try to find a neutral position in the pelvis area, in the back area. Long straight spine. And then open your eyes. Let's begin. Inhale, rise your hands up. Stretch. And as you exhale, bend your knees. Have your belly between the thighs, so maybe you need to open your legs a little wider, maybe point the toes outwards. Inhale, gently rise up, straighten the spine, look forward. And exhale, we'll bring the right leg to the back. Drop the knee down, open the chest. Inhaling here. And exhale, bring the other knee back. Inhale, head up. 
Hands on up. And exhale. Downward facing dog with our knees bent. And again, inhale right leg to the front. Drop the left knee. You can have the foot pointing to the outside. Supporting yourself with the hands. Feeling gentle, opening in the hips. Exhaling here. And then with the next inhalation, we'll step to the front. Legs open, gently look front. And exhale, gently fold a little bit only. And inhale, you can support yourself with the hands if you need. And reach all the way up. Exhale, release. The other side. Now we'll go with the left leg. Inhale, hands up. Stretch all the way up. Exhale, bending your knees, gently folding forward. You may open your legs a little wider if you need to remember. Inhale, head up, straight in the spine. And exhale, both hands to the floor underneath the shoulders. Left leg to the back. Maybe you need to walk in a couple of steps. It's fine. Inhale, open the chest, look forward. Exhale, bring the right leg also to the back. Knees underneath the hips. Inhale, head up, tailbone up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Knees bent, belly between the legs. Next inhalation, bring the left leg to the front, a little bit to the outside maybe if you need. And exhale here. With the next inhalation, we'll walk the right leg front. So remember, if you need to modify, maybe walking in a couple of steps. And then exhale, gently fold. Inhale, going all the way up, reaching your hands up. Exhale, release. Take a moment here with your eyes closed. Just come back to your deep breathing. Observe how your body feels. Calm, steady breaths in and out. And then slowly open your eyes. Let's get towards our chair. So you should have a chair right behind your mat. I should have mentioned it before. <laughs> but we will, we will just have a chair somewhere next to. And what we're gonna do, we will put the, put the chair underneath. So we'll go into the supported goddess pose. So first you can just sit on your chair, open your legs wide, and should your toes point outwards, knees outwards. And from here, we'll slowly rise up. So maybe you want to support yourself with the hands. You can just rise a little bit. And then palms to the chest. Calm, deep breathing. We're opening nicely the hips and at the same time, strengthening the legs. At any moment you feel it's too much, just slowly come back down. And just sit in the same position on your chair. If you feel today that this is already challenging, you can just stay also in that posture on the chair. Calm breaths. And if you want to work a little bit more on the strength, then you may rise up a little bit or a little higher. Just finding the spot which feels good for you. Exhale, this. And then slowly bringing your legs forward. And resting a moment. Now let's move to our modified warrior. So we'll bring the right leg with the knee pointing forward, and then stretch the left leg. So we want to be comfortable. You can have the chair underneath the thigh or a little bit underneath both glutes as well. Just find the perfect position for yourself. And now, as you can see, I'm going into supported warrior. So the normal warrior would be like this, but without the chair. We're just helping ourselves a bit with the chair. So ensure that the hips are nicely open, knees above the ankle, Hips open and just rise the hands looking towards your right fingers. Deep breaths. And then inhale, you can stretch the side of the body. Exhale, come back. And now inhale, stretch the other side of the body. Exhale, come back. Let's change. Now bending your left leg, right leg straight, 
and inhale, rising both hands. Calm, steady breath. Feeling nice, opening in the hip area, so ensure that you're opening that left leg back. Deep breath. And then inhale, stretching the right side of the body. Exhale. Inhale, left side of the body. Exhale. And then come back. And relax. Awesome. Let's move to the seated positions. So I can remove the chair. We're not going to need it anymore. And we will sit on the cushion again, like at the beginning. So that you can roll your hips back and you can gently open your legs a little wider, like hip width apart, toes up, knees can be bent, and here if you need some support, you can also have your extra cushion underneath the thighs. And here focusing on rotating your hips a little back, you can support yourself with the fingertips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale here. Maybe you just want to stay here, that's totally fine. Or if you feel like making a little forward fold, then just moving gently forward. You don't have to go all the way down, just going as much as you feel comfortable. So just a little bit. And then slowly come back. Let's open the legs a little wider. Again, you can have your cushion and inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, gently fold to the front. You can just stay also in the upright position if you feel that it's already nicely opening for your hips. Otherwise, if you feel like going forward, then just folding gently, slowly. Remember, we don't want to push ourselves. You should feel comfortable in all of these postures. And with your next breath in, come back. Let's remove the big cushion. And now we'll bring our heels together, feet together, and try to open your feet like a book if that's possible. Fingertips behind you, straight spine, and just flapping your legs a few times up and down. Bada Konasana is a great position to help us to open up the hips. And you can just stay here now in stillness. You can stay with the spine straight. Or if you feel like you can move a little bit forward, just finding your perfect position, perfect intensity, where you can still breathe calmly and deeply. And with your next inhalation, slowly come back. You can hold this posture for longer time as well. You can apply it into your daily routine. But I want to show you a couple of extra positions. So now Gomukhasana, your left knee goes down and the right leg goes on top of it. You can just stay in that way so you can open your glutes nicely. Or if that feels good, you can bring the right knee into more bent position. So right heel closer to the, to the left thigh. And maybe again just staying upright or if that feels good, folding a little forward. Um, steady breaths. And then slowly release. Let's change. So right leg down, left leg on top. Again, finding a reversion, maybe just halfway. Maybe you want to have your legs a little closer. Straight spine, if possible, gently folding. Just as much as comfortable. So you should have space nicely for your belly, so don't force and push. Maybe you're just staying upright, it's also totally fine. If your belly is already bigger, then maybe your legs need to be just wider here. Feeling what feels right for you and breathing steadily. And then slowly getting out of the pose. Great. Opening your legs and now just let's move them side to side a little bit. 
So you can release tension from the hips. And now we have last couple of postures. Let's move to the child pose. We will open the legs wide. So you want to be sitting on your heels. Your toes are together, legs are wide apart. Maybe you need a couple of cushions. One, two, five. As many as you need, as many as feels good. And we will modify a little bit so you can have the cushion underneath the chest if you feel, or just underneath the head. Just find what feels the best for you. And then relaxing in the posture. You can have the hand supporting you gently in the front. Maybe you're putting the head to the side. Maybe staying with the core head down. Breathing long and deep breaths with a focus on the lower back. This posture greatly helps to release tension from the back, from the lower back area. And then slowly come back up. You may just make a little movement with your spine, if that feels good. And then let's relax in the Shavasana, which we will also modify a little bit. So we don't want to be lying down on our back. We want to lie down on the side of the body, especially in the advanced stages of the pregnancy. So taking a cushion deep in the legs, Maybe you need a couple of more cushions or maybe a blanket to cover yourself. Just again, finding most comfortable position and lying down on the side of your body. Maybe you want to double fold the cushion. Just making yourself nicely comfortable and closing your eyes, taking complete rest. Breathing long and steady breaths. Deep inhalations and complete exhalations. Taking a moment to notice how you're feeling. Taking a moment to bring awareness to the belly area and feeling any sensations. And then whenever you're ready, you may slowly start getting out of the lying posture. If you feel like staying longer, just stay and take as much rest as you need. Otherwise, coming back to seated, still staying for a moment with your eyes closed. And just placing again one palm on the belly, the other on the chest. Feeling your breath. Feeling your baby and taking a moment to express gratitude, gratitude for this beautiful time of your life, gratitude for your body which is so strong and gratitude for your little angel in you. Bring your palms together in front of your heart center and rock them, warm them up. And then place your palms on top of your closed eyes and slowly open your eyes. And then move your hands down, touching through all your body, holding them on the bed for a moment, 
sending your warmth through the palms to the belly, your love. And then touching all over your body. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Take care of yourself. Bye.